Welcome to the step 7 of the T-Rex activity. Now that we have coded most of the functionalities of the game, let's code the restart game functionality. So what we want to do is, whenever the game is considered as over, after that, if you click on the screen, we want the game to restart again. Okay, so to do that, we are going to use a concept called if else conditions. So you see here, we have a new block called when screen is clicked. So this block is going to run whatever is written inside of the empty space here anytime you click on the game. Once the game is running, anytime you click on the game, whatever is written here is going to run. So we want to restart the game when you click on the screen. But we only want to restart the game if the game is over. And for that, we need an if condition. So if condition, if blocks are used in the code whenever we want an action to happen based on certain conditions. So you see here we are saying when the screen is clicked, if and only if the game is over, then restart the game. Okay. So now when you click on the green play button and run your game, you will see that Dino still runs, the coins are generated, the obstacles are generated, and when the Dino collides with the obstacle, it says game over and click to restart. Now, if you click on click to restart, or if you click on the screen, the game restarts. You can click on keep playing here and you will see that again, uh, because the Dino collided with the obstacle, the game is over. But let me restart it here and let me keep playing. So you will see that anytime I click on the screen, the game does not restart. It only restarts when the game is over. Alright, so now I can move to the next step. 